Welcome everyone to a new season of Marvel Snap. For those of you that don't know, I play this game a good amount, especially on my phone or during some downtime. I I always try to play a few matches because it's so easily accessible and matches are so short. Uh, but now, December 5th, we got a brand new season, which is the Hellfire, Hellfire Gala. We're going to play a few matches with the new card that has unlocked now since i play a good amount i did pick up the battle pass and i've already gotten a few tiers you get this new card sebastian shaw when this card gains power uh you also gain two more wherever it is i love this card so far and i'm gonna show why in a few minutes here um but yeah it's it's been really cool I've really enjoyed it. I really don't look at like leaks or anything for like upcoming seasons. So like when I saw this and actually tried using the card myself, it was uh, a nice surprise. Um, the other thing that I did too is now they have, uh, so there's a few balance changes in this season or right before this new season changed or happened. So for instance, Luke Cage, which is one that I was using for quite a while now it only works uh for the location that it's at it does not work for all your cards so that was a pretty big change another big one uh, i mean there's there's like 10 or 15 or maybe like 10 cards that had a change um the other one that was uh kind of big was chavez america chavez she is now no longer uh, a six cost card at the bottom of your deck. She is now a two cost and gives your other cards two power. So that's just kind of an example. There are other cards like Spider-Man, uh, Juggernaut, and a few others that got changes, but I don't want to go too much into detail on those. The other thing that's pretty cool, if you didn't see, is you can now make a deck with any card or you can craft a deck and have the game autofill. Now, from what they've said so far, it's pretty much um, the game will take, <laughs> they'll take what data that they have and they'll try to fill it. Obviously, it who knows how accurate the data is, but it is a cool new feature. Here's the deck that it automatically gave me when I did unlock the Sebastian Shaw card right away it just auto filled the rest of the deck with really cards that give you plus one or plus two and honestly starting out this is this was actually a pretty good deck um things like forge and nova and then you have killmonger and then you also have um okoye elsa i mean all these honestly these would work well together um, the only one that I was kind of questioning really here was Apocalypse because there's no like discard in here unless if you just wanted to drop a like I don't know that's the only thing but aside from that though uh, this was a pretty good auto deck now I made some changes myself and I swapped in things like I changed Okoye different uh, to a different variant I also changed in Cerebro uh, Elsa I kept Silver Surfer, Captain America, because he gives all cards plus one, and then final one, Blue Marvel. So most of the time I end my matches and all locations are full, um, but this deck so far has treated me very well. Uh, and we're gonna go, go into a match here in a second and, and see how it is. So I guess with that said, let's go ahead and uh, jump straight into it. Now I'll kind of show you how I play these. This might be a short video because I don't know how long uh, or how much of my audience really would like to watch Marvel Snap. I've done a few streams of this game in the past, uh, but and I've even done some sponsors. Uh, well, some light like affiliate sponsors. I'm going to drop this down just because it's the only card we can put down at the moment. Um. But yeah, the Shaw card has been a ton of fun playing that. I've had times where I've gotten him up to like 20, like 25. And then I've also gotten the Brood card. I didn't, I've never realized how good Brood actually is. Like it's kind of crazy. 
Uh, card text is disabled here. Oh boy. It's gonna make things a little bit tougher, but let's see, Captain America. I might throw Captain America into this, but now if this turns into a card text is disabled here, this, this match is not gonna work out great. But I guess we'll see. Okay, they got a Maximus. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, so this is where things might actually get pretty good. Because there's a few things we can do here now, like this. And, yep, I got a good feeling. Ugh, no, I now I have a not-so-good feeling. Because in order for Brood to be actually good, I'm going to have to put down Silver Surfer next. But I guess we'll see. I was going to drop down that. Um, okay, we got so we got a zero cost. That's actually not terrible. I will not complain about that at all. And of course, now we get Sebastian Shaw. He draws. Um, what I'm going to do is this. And I'm going to wait to play this. I would play Mr. Sinister, but now is not a good time. Although I could do this, actually. Um, yeah, let's do this, actually. There we go. Because card text is disabled there. And then next turn, I'm going to drop Silver Surfer and Ultron. I wish they played that card earlier, but maybe they didn't have it. Who knows? <laughs> maybe they just didn't have it at the time. Okay, so this is going to buff all my three cost cards. These guys are all going to get buffed. I don't know if we're, we're playing against a bot right now or uh, really what the case is, but I'm going to drop. Uh, well, this is going to buff Ultron, though, because I'm going to put him down. And it, do it really doesn't matter what we do next. Because these all have the same costs. Alright. Let's see how this plays out. So, Sebastian is going to go from 6. And then he should go to 8. I'm pretty sure. If I did math correctly. So, there he goes to 6. And now he's going to get plus 2 more. Becomes an 8. Elsa makes Silver Surfer a 4. Magneto... We can't even draw cards there, and there we go. So, I've had higher things than this, um, but that is a good example starting out. I mean, I like I said, I never realized how good Brood and Broodling actually is, especially with Silver Surfer. But, we're going to go into a few more matches. Um, now, I'm not going to exit the game. I want to bump the volume up, because I, I had this pretty quiet... But I've been enjoying this a whole ton. Uh, we're still very early on into the new season. No earrings near Magneto. Um, one other cool thing, and I wouldn't actually wait to do this on stream, is they added album, or not on stream, but on the recording. Because now, if you get all of a certain type, you get these rewards so like a picture or like profile image a specific card a spotlight key and this new emote which that looks awesome um and i watched a streamer actually get one of these but yeah look at all these options for venomized villains i mean i'm a huge fan of venom venom is literally my favorite uh you got venomized thanos like oh my gosh that's so sick um but yeah, we're going to actually, during this stream, pick up a uh, mystery variant. And look at that. It is a venomized variant. So, I've got 2,000. I haven't really been using them a lot lately. Let's see what we get. Craven? Okay. That's actually not bad. That does look sick. I'm going to set that as a favorite for any decks that I currently have with him. I could do one more... Um, I like to wait for bundles, but honestly, when it comes to uh, Venomized variants, that is one thing I don't mind. 
And I've never personally bought like gold before. I've got I bought bundles like most recently this one, the Nebula. I don't have Nebula, so that was the biggest reason on why I got it. Plus, it's a winter variant. Um, so that's I mean, it came with twelve hundred gold, so that's one of the other bonuses. Um, I still haven't redeemed my card yet here. Plus one max energy. Ongoing, you can only play one card a turn. I forget, there was a deck that I really wanted Electro for at one point, but I've been uh, waiting until I see, I really see a card that I want. All right, you know what? For the sake of the video, we're gonna do one more of these and see. I just want Thanos so bad. Oh, Claw. Wait, that's a, oh, that's not even a Venomized one. I guess it's a higher chance, but still, that one's cool. Yeah, we'll swap that in. I never had, I only have the base version of Claw. But yeah, that's that's something new that they have. Uh, they also have a Jim Lee X-Men, which is pretty sick. You're looking at all these and then staying hip. So I'm assuming these are gonna be ongoingly. They're gonna add more albums. But we'll jump into another match with the Shaw deck here. Um, I'm really excited to use the auto deck feature more often because a lot of times like I will put together, I'll, I'll get like one or two cards and I'm like, man, I really want to use this, but I have no idea where to start. So I start looking online. I try to find other things, but I, I feel like using the auto deck field feature will kind of give me a good starting point. And then from there I can formulate my own choice. So I'm going to drop down uh, a Koya here because this is automatically going to give Sebastian Shaw a plus one in my deck and now he's automatically a what was it so that would give him plus three yep he's a seven already like that's crazy that's <laughs> he's a seven already um i'm gonna drop this down here i could have did brooding actually that might have been a better uh go but oh, that's okay. Yeah, because now this turn, I'm not really going to be able to put down much. Um, I'm going to do this. Drop down Sebastian. Now, I, just for like anybody that might be new to my channel, I am very casual when it comes to this game. Like, I... Uh-oh. Okay. I can deal with that. That's cool. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'm very, very casual when it comes to this game. Like, I'm sure there's plenty of meta out there, and there's a lot of stuff I should know. But personally, I'm just kind of taking my time each round. Um, there's always going to be something better that I could have done, without a doubt. But I think this might actually be good. Because then, okay, I've got an idea. Yeah. So, oh shoot, I should have put Elsa down first after you play a card that fills this location. Yeah, I should have put, oh no. See, that's like a mistake that I made that could have been, that's kind of substantial. Now, I don't think we're gonna be able to win this one, this side at least, but, um, yeah, this is not a good round, I don't think. Kind of messed up a little bit here. I think my best bet now is going to be putting down maybe Cerebro. Because this is going to buff all my other guys. Yeah, and just hope that we win these too. Now, him being at 12, that's going to be useful. And put it at 19. 16 oh close yeah i you know what's crazy is i probably could have won if i played elsa first if i played elsa then brooding then we probably would have had these all at what like yeah oh my god that would have won it right there that was my biggest mistake but you live and you learn every match we'll go into a, a few more here um 
but yeah overall I, you might be able to kind of see where where i've been going with this deck and it's been a lot of fun using it um beside before this i was using a like lockdown Eliath deck for a while which has also changed um Eliath now is when you place it it'll only destroy revealed card or i think it's only unrevealed cards um so yeah it has to be unrevealed if you place it somewhere that is already been revealed uh that's not gonna help you and i mean with that deck anyways you always wanted to have priority but there is definitely a few times where even though it i didn't have priority it saved me having the ability to um to actually place the the card down because they didn't have like an on reveal or an ongoing ability but it still helped me a good amount so man i am not drawing great here not at all um i'm gonna go for this now nah, i don't even know if we're gonna even get uh i'd rather wait until having mr sinister to just fill that out and not waste it so let's go with this yeah i feel like i haven't even seen mirage in my deck or nico nico's kind of been another one but man i i love this game every time I, I'm thinking about maybe every once in a while, like when there's a new season, put out a video or two. Um, I'm going to drop this, even though this might not make a difference. Yeah, at this rate, it won't make a difference. So let's try to even the odds. Big Batman. And do this. Sure. I don't know. This side. Uh, Drawing for this match here has not been great. But that's okay. Wait, why did every, all my cards drop in? Oh boy. Of course. It's these rocks, man. I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. Now we're only doing two, but even if they put down a car that's over that, I'm just gonna, smart thing, just to retreat. It, all they need to put down is a card that has a six on this side and it would be GG for me. So I'll take the uh, the loss for that. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the other thing I wanted to do is I've been saving these is to upgrade this and then see what we get. Yeah, we got so seven points here. I waited to animate this during the uh, recording here. So, we got more coins. Yeah, right now I'm level 2,691 for a collection level. I've seen some people with like 19 or 20,000. So, uh, I would say I'm pretty casual in that aspect still. Definitely still casual. We got those. We got it in a few hours. There's more things unlocking for chapter one. But I, I don't know. Something about this style here too looks so sick. Um, I just unlocked the back of the car, but I haven't put it on yet because uh, I don't know. Just haven't decided to do that yet. What else we got here? Sebastian Shaw. Honestly, I didn't even know who Sebastian Shaw was before this season. I, I haven't really read any comics in a, in a while. Um, so I was, and I was going to look him up too, but oh well. All right, we're going to a few more games here. I don't want to make this video too long. I kind of just wanted to showcase what Sebastian Shaw is and the new season uh, in a very casual format rather than, you know, doing uh what's up guys here's the new season here's all the latest updates and yada 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 nice all right so that was actually pretty good i wish we had shaw before that went off but that's okay i'll drop this down 
Now, let's see. I'm starting to think that maybe Captain America I don't play as often. Ooh, ooh, this made things a little harder. Because brooding would fill the any location that I put brooding in instantly is filling. Um, but I feel like if I play it here, although they're at 15 already, this might be worth in the long run. So I'm going to drop that there. If we get Silver Surfer, this might be really good. Now, Cosmo is going to disable on all ongoing. That's honestly fine. Um, shoot. I'm going to drop this to give Sebastian Shaw a plus. And I'm going to hope... I'm going to hope that we get, oh boy, no, oh, man. Okay. Well, there's still a chance. Now, these are all on reveals. Um, if I want to, I'm trying to think. If I get Silver Surfer next turn, then I can put down Captain America in this spot and then Silver Surfer there, and then it'll bump everyone up. We'll see, though. I'm going to hold out for that reason. Come on, Silver Surfer. I mean, worst case. All right. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible either. Because now I can do the... Ooh, no, I can't do that. Oh, she's a two. I think this is my best bet. Because that'll bump everybody else. And yeah, this is my best bet. Let's see if it works out. And they're giving all their ongoing. Yes, it did. It did. Either way. Boom. Yeah, that was a little bit of a uh, little nervous about that one, but we got it. What's that? Like two, two, one for this, this video here. Going to another match. I think for the most of the rest of this, we'll just play a few more matches. All right. So I like to hold on to forge for when I get Shaw, but I could play him right now. Also, oh boy, only one card can be played here. Shuffle five rocks. Of course, man. Um, I could do Mr. Sinister. But I'd rather do Forge and then Mr. Sinister. Yeah, whatever. We'll do this. Okay, they're playing a move deck right now. And then bump them to the left. That's interesting. Swapping the two like that. But they if they have miles, uh, then they now they can play that card for one less. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Now, the biggest thing is we still don't have Shaw though. Um hmm. we can add plus one to the deck though. I'm gonna do this. Or actually, let's do this. Now, this might not be the brightest idea, but uh, only one card can can be here for each player. Now, I don't like... Ooh, wait. It's either I fill this location or... Yeah, let it be. I don't know. I'm just going to try it. Okay, that was terrible. This is fine though. This is fine, we'll figure this out. It's not over yet. Although that is terrible right there. It is not over yet. I can't play brooding anywhere. Uh, this might be a retreat, but this, yeah, this might be a retreat match. I don't even have any three cost cards out right now. 
Ah, dude, we're so limited on how much space we have available. I'm gonna hold. We still have two more turns, so there's a chance. Yeah, getting Forge in that location was like the worst. Oof. All right, the only other thing I can really do is this. It's still at one, so I'm not too... If they snapped, I, I would instantly retreat. But because we're at one right now, I, I'm okay with it so far. And, I mean, we're still pretty high here. <laughs> there, They have a rock over there. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. This might be... GG. Oh, man. I don't know. So, we're locked in for this location. I don't really have anything, though, that's going to give all my other cards plus... Like, these are all two costs. If I waited and played Brood, I would probably have this. This match. Um, but I think... I think for the sake of the video, we might just play it out and see. Because it's only the cost of two. So... But, oh. Mm, if they have anything higher than, what, a five? They win? At this location? Whatever. It's only a two. We'll see if it works out or not. And it did. And it did. That's... If they had anything higher than a six, they would have won. But I'll take it. I will take that. All right, let's go for another one. Probably go for, like, have this video around 30 minutes-ish. Um, and if you guys have been enjoying this, like if, if you enjoy this little like breakdown of me just kind of yapping away about Marvel Snap, um, I think these will do better as a video format rather than a live stream. Um, live streams can do good, but I also have a very, my audience I know for the streams at least, don't watch a ton of uh, these type, types of games. So replace both decks with 10 random cards. Oh boy, after you play a card here, destroy it. Well, this is going to be an interesting match. We're not even going to be using half of these cards, it seems like. Um, one good thing, though, is having Ultron here might get me this location. Oh, uh, here's another card that changed. Your cards cost one or less power, cost one. Uh, your cards with one or less power. Cost one less. Now that's the same, but the thing that's different is this is a two cost and a three power. Before it was a one power. Um, you have all cards in your hand plus one. Sure, I'll do that. Do they have a card that's worth destroying? I guess, or it just has. Yep. Yes, they do. Now they get plus one energy. Electra gonna destroy four honestly that's okay with me because that opens up another spot okay we got a shang chi that i can't even play nice i'm just gonna put uh i'll hold on to it oh that might be gg right there if they just got that Oh man, I can't even play any of the. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I got nothing. I got nothing. Escaped. Uh, I can't even reach it. Oh, they moved it. It's over. It used to be like right, right here. I thought so, at least. All right, let's go into another one. Yeah, that match wasn't going to work out great on my end, but that's okay. Okay. So put down brooding for me. Honestly, that's all right with me. 
I'm going to put down Chavez here. Yes. Yep. Um, man. Nah, I'm going to do this. Because next turn I'll have four points and then I'll be able to put it with Shaw. So, yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to do this just to fill in this area. Good. All right, here we go. Now I put down Forge and this. And we'll see how this plays out here. Yes. That is exactly, so we play Silver Surfer now, and then next turn we're playing Blue Marvel. Exactly what I needed. And boom. So we're about to play this here, get that location, and yeah, they're gonna have to I, I don't want to snap because I'm afraid that they drop a six here. I don't know. Yep, and they retreated. Victory. Not bad. There's another good match there. All right, we're going to go into another. Taking a second to find an opponent here. There we go. All right, we'll go for like uh, two more, one or two more matches, and then we'll call this this video here. So I'm gonna hold on to Forge for right now. Although I could have did Forge and then Elsa next turn, but that's okay. Ongoing effects here are doubled. I don't know if I, oh no, I do have a few ongoing. All right. Uh, next turn, we'll have three points. I'm gonna put down Elsa here. And then, let's see. After I put down, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't wait to, to put down Forge the first turn because now, oh, here we go. Never mind. In this match, it worked out. And now we can do this. And then with my current hand, what I would like to do uh, with my current hand, if I'd say I didn't draw anything else, I would put brooding and okay, never mind. Well, that disappeared, but that's okay. We're still all right here. I'm gonna drop this and then turn five, I'm doing Silver Surfer. Probably on this side. All right, I have a feeling I might be able to snap here. So I'm gonna snap. We're gonna snap, although I still, I don't know. Still, still might, might not be the best idea, but we'll see. We'll see if this plays out. We've had good, good luck so far for these last few matches so of course the one game and, and that's why i'm kind of hesitant on snapping because the one game that i do snap i know i'm gonna end up losing most of the time so and yeah that right there is probably not a good sign so and i don't have Ooh. Is it worth losing eight here? Probably not. So, and this one, I mean, I 
if I do did Captain America, if this was still the ongoing location, I would have done it. Because it's not. My best bet, they're probably not going to play anything here. They're going to play like a, if they have death, they're going to play it in one of these spots and it's GG anyway. So yeah, I'm going to retreat. Yeah. That one was, I was confident at first. And that was probably the worst match I could have snapped. Well, it was the worst match. So, go for another one. We'll see how this is. Hopefully, we can get it. Okay. Love to see that. Cards cannot be played here. Great start. You know what? I'm going to play this right in the center. Because the next, next thing you know, this is going to be a... Yeah, next thing you know, this is going to be a location that's like... After turn three, shuffle your deck and draw three new hand. Okay, that's actually not terrible. The only thing I'll miss out on is Silver Surfer. Um, let's play American Chavez. Cause she'll get my that my oh, but then that card's gonna be shuffled into the deck. But who knows? Maybe we'll be lucky enough, and it ends up being Sebastian Shaw at the top of my deck. A lot of destroy decks uh, this match. Let's go. After you play a card here, this fills. Um, oh yeah, give every card in your deck plus one. Yeah, I'll do that. Their best bet. And now he'll be a seven, which is nice. That's great. Cosmo. Oh, it put down a card for us. Nice. Oh, wow. They got real lucky there. <laughs> wow. They got so lucky with Warpath. Jeez. That's unfortunate on my end. Okay. Still a chance. Next turn, we put down Blue Marvel right here. Professor X. Oh, that's a GG right there. 1912. Oh, yeah. I'm a snap. Yep, I knew it. And they were traded. Because, I mean, either way, I was about to do Silver Surfer. That would bump Sebastian Shaw up to a, like, 15. Uh, what? nine that'd be 11 and then plus another two yeah so it'd be at 13. um yeah and then we'd also be bumping everyone else up over here well no they wouldn't actually get bumped up but still that was another good match so yeah so far really enjoying this deck uh i've had a lot of fun with it and the auto feature has been really cool uh auto deck feature being able to kind of just combine cards together um so uh this season's gonna be fun if you guys enjoyed this video like me kind of just yapping away and playing some marvel snap then make sure you leave a like on it subscribe for more stuff like this and plenty of other games that i've been playing um and yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how the rest of the season goes. For now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.